So I got a lot of questions of how to make Ajax frontend uploads. Now, uh, I didn't exactly know how to do it. So Samuel, uh, the guy that makes October CMS helped me and uh, gave me a snippet of code which will achieve that functionality. But the problem with that is it, that it requires the October CMS build 420. Now, uh, the another problem with that is that build 420 is using the newest Laravel 5.5 uh, framework and its, its requirements are PHP 7 and MySQL 5.6. Now, my development environment, I'm using Vagrant Scotchbox 2.5 is uh, using PHP 5.6 and I don't know what version of MySQL. So that doesn't work for me. So I can't actually update my October CMS uh, to that newest version. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can use something called Laravel Valet uh, to install, actually to update your existing uh, October CMS site, like we are going to do in this video, to the build 420. Now I tried using Scotchbox 3.0, which comes with PHP 7, but that just didn't work for me. So for some reason it said it uses uh, PHP 5.6, and then I installed the PHP 7 manually, but the October installation didn't work and it was a mess. I just wasted a lot of time and nothing actually came of it. So I decided to use something called Laravel Valet, uh, which you can use to build up your development environment. So in this video, we are going to use Laravel Valet to actually copy our site to it and then update it to the latest version of October CMS. And then in the next video, I will show you how you can do those uh, Ajax frontend uploads. So Laravel Valet is uh, made for Mac OS, but if you're on Windows, you have a fork of Valet for Windows. So you can go to this URL right here. And if you're on Linux, uh, you can use this GitHub repository right here. And then you can have Laravel Valet installed on your Windows or Linux machines. But right now we are just going to follow the steps uh, in this documentation right here. So as you can see, you can use Laravel Valet out of the box, not just for Laravel, but you can use it for Lumen, Bedrock, Cake, uh, PHP, Craft, Drupal, Joomla, WordPress, Symfony, whatever. So this is not a Vagrant box. It's going to use your local version of PHP and then it's going to do some magic and you will have very fast, blazing fast, actually, uh, development environment. Uh, I tested it out and it's much, much fa faster than something uh, when you're using Vagrant. Now, uh, you don't want to always use Valet because this is just a basic setup. If you need something more complicated on your server side, then you should probably use either Vagrant or Docker or something like that. So we are going to use Laravel Valet and this is the installation for it. So I already have it installed on my system. Of course, if you're on Windows or on Linux, you would follow these instructions right here. Uh, but we are just going to go through them. So I'm not going to actually install it because it's already installed on my system, but these are the steps that you have to follow. So you would just do brew update. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see. So we just do a uh, brew update. Then you would do brew install, home brew, uh, and you would actually install PHP 7.1. And uh, in that same way, you can install MySQL 5.6. I actually didn't install it because uh, on our sites, we are using SQLite, so we don't need MySQL. Uh, and then you would just install Wallet via Composer. So you would have to have also Composer installed on your site. But if you are doing PHP uh, development, you should already have Composer installed. And then you would just run Valet install. Once you run that, every time you restart your computer, uh, the Valet will automatically start. And the great thing about Valet, it, uh, it's automatically going to uh, put all of your sites. So whatever you, your sites you have in your Valet folder, 
uh, you're just going to have a URL of uh, the name of that folder that dev. Also, you can change that to be something like app by using this command. So valet domain app. Okay, so and uh, now th these are the instructions for the database. So you would just do brew install MySQL and start it and that's it. Uh, also, you have this upgrading information right here. If you are already using Valet, so you can check this out to upgrade to Valet 2.0. But since I didn't use it, I just installed it uh, this way right here. Okay, so once uh, you installed Valet, you have this uh, option right here called Park. So you have to define a directory or a folder which in which your sites are going going to live as i said this works uh, for uh, wordpress joomla whatever most of the php uh, cmss i think would work in valet so i'm now in my home directory and i'm just going to create a new uh, directory called let's say valet sites Okay, so I go into that directory. And now you have to use this command right here. So you would just do valet park so that the valet have uh, has this URL, actually this path uh, that he will look sites in. So you can have multiple uh, valet uh, directories on your system if you want. So I already have one called just valet and this is going to be called valet site. So I'm just going to do valet park. And this directory has been added to the valet paths. Uh, I'm very actually impressed with the valet. I have to say that because it's super easy to set up and your sites just work from it and that's it. Also to test out if the valet works, you should just do So you just do foobar.dev and if it's giving you this response 127.001, then it works. Uh, you have that all of that in this documentation right here. So now what we are going to do, we are going to take our October movie site and just copy it, uh, copy it into our valet sites directory. So I'm using forklift for copying, pasting and so on. And now uh, I'm uh, right here in Valet Sites. Uh, on this left side and on the right side, I, ha I have October Movies right here. So I'm just going to create a new directory right here called Build420. Okay, and now I'm going to enter that and copy everything except for this folder and this node module for node modules folder from October movies site. So this is the site that we are uh, working on and I'm just going to copy it to Valet. And now we just wait for a bit for everything to copy. And once that is done, I think our site should actually work. Okay, so now I'm in my browser, everything is copied and I should be able to go to build420.dev uh, to uh, access my site. And as you can see, we get our site right here and everything works, uh, I hope. <laughs> so everything works now, let's just go to the backend. And as you can see, we're in the back end right now and everything seems to be working okay. We can go to settings and we can go to updates and plugins. As you can see, this is much faster than uh, using the Vagrant box. Everything opens uh, up much faster. So as you can see, I'm on the current build 3.8.2. And if I check for updates, uh, the latest build is going to be 419. So I'm just going to update the software and uh, then we are going to update it to build 420. 
Okay, so uh, the software is updated and we are on the build 419. Now, uh, if we check for updates again, we get no new updates were found. This is because we have to enable uh, the bleeding edge updates. Now, if you are watching this video later and uh, the 420 entered the stable release, uh, then you probably will have automatically uh, update 420 right here. Uh, but if you are watching this video a few days after it's released, you will probably need to go to config, CMS, open it up. And now right here you have this edge updates and you just have to turn them to true. Save it in our administration. We can just go to check for updates again. And as you can see, now you have new updates. So you have this build 420 action required. Uh, this is the Laravel version 5.5 and now requires PHP 7. This is all good and you have to update the user. So you would just select action confirm update and once more confirm update. Now we can update the software. And now you will get this update failed message. Now, if you check the release notes uh, for uh, this version, uh, you will see, so you have new system requirements and so on. And the no, known issues are that first update fails. So when updating to build 420 via the backend, the first update will fail with message update fail. Uh, simply refresh the page and run the update process a second time. So I'm just going to go to, where is it? Right here, okay. Cancel, I will refresh this page and do all of, the, all of this again. So check for updates, uh, we get confirm update and confirm update and update software once again. And as you can see, we now get the message update process complete. Uh, the current build is 420. Everything seems to be working. Uh, we have this Ajax filter. Let's just try that out. So this is the thing that we did last. We go to this page. Let's see if teen comedy, action, drama, everything works pages okay we don't have many pages right here so we have two pagination works uh, we can select a year of course we will get no movies found and that's it so as you can see this works also be sure to check this release notes because there are some required code changes so uh, if you didn't follow these videos exactly and you did your own stuff right here, you should definitely check this out and see what code you should actually change uh, for this version of October to work with your code. So now that we have the latest version of October CMS installed, uh, we can make Ajax frontend upload in the next episode. So this has been it for this video. Remember, if you want to ask me questions, you can do that on Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, my site, whatever. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you like the content I put out. And uh, if you want to send some money my way, you can use the Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.